Today I want to talk to you about a couple of attachments that have been around for, I don't know, 60, 80 years without a lot of change. But what I'm going to show you is a bit of a twist on these attachments that are going to make it easier for those of you in the suburbs or with small amounts of storage. You, you know, a lot of us have limited storage space. There's just not enough room to, to house and, and store attachments. This particular landscape rake and this rear blade that we're going to show you will probably still fit. Let's take a look. I'll start off by showing you the twist, the change in the design or what I might consider an improvement, at least for uh, the suburban lifestyle uh, limited storage space. This is typical three point hitch quick hitch. This is the heavy hitch weight bracket. The blade is using a two inch receiver to connect to the heavy hitch. So the rear blade only has this two inch solid piece of steel. It doesn't contain its own three point hitch attachment. It just connects right in here. I don't have a pin in right now because I'm, I'm just showing it to you and I'm going to take it out in just a minute. Um, but a pin goes through here and holds it on. This blade has all the features of any other uh, simple rear blade. You can angle it uh, either direction that you want. You can turn it all the way around backwards or forwards just like that. Um, one interesting feature of this blade is that it's fully compatible with the 54 inch front blade that Deer sells and therefore Artillion and HeavyHitch.com offer different cutting edges. This one's got the steel cutting edge standard, but you can get the rubber cutting edge from Artillion or the UHMW or UMWH, I never can get that, from HeavyHitch.com and, and it will fit because the whole pattern, everything about this cutting edge is the same. This landscape rake is, you might say, a new partner in crime for the rear blade. It's mounted the same way. Well, it'd be a lot easier if I took this pin out. And it's got the angle here. Now, yes, we're missing some tines here. I left those off because I want to show you about the installation a little bit later. But this angles uses the very same piece of, of two inch solid steel as the blade. And I've got it connected to the front of my loader with uh, the two inch receiver that comes in the Artillion uh, fork frame. But again, you can put this in the heavy hitch. That's where it's really designed to be used is in the heavy hitch receiver. I saved this one section because I had some difficulty figuring out how to best install these pieces. It was kind of an, you know, what order do I, do I tackle the problem? Do I have it upside down? Do I have it right side up? How do I, how do I go about this? So I'm gonna show you the technique that works for me and that way if you order yours and you have some difficulty installing, you can check this out. The approach that I've learned works best for me, assuming you put the tine end right side up, is to do each end, each one of these pieces of uh, rippled steel holds six, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six tines, and I have found it's best to do each end and don't put them very tight, just barely get the nut on. Using that approach, I can insert the middle ones like so, and this is a trivial job. Uh, I, I should have had the camera on when I tried to do the very first one over there it would have been a blooper roll for sure because I tried to get all six of them started kind of at the same time and uh, just tried several different approaches as I, as I came across with this install. And this approach was so much easier, I decided it was worth the time to demonstrate it to you. Just once you get the ends on, you slide the tines in, one washer on top, one washer on the bottom, <laughs> and it's really trivial. These tines are made in Italy. I was kind of surprised. That seems like something that would be made in China typically, but they say made in Italy right on them. So I, that was kind of positive to me. I mean, after we met the, a lot of Italian people this summer, really was pretty impressed with what we saw in Italy. Uh, people were very warm to us personally, and they were warm to Americans in general, and we just really enjoyed what we saw in Italy.
They just try to make sure the tines are relatively straight. That's really all there is to the installation. One more comment I might make is that uh, this kingpin uh, or large bolt is is really the, the most difficult part, or at least was for me to install. You need an, uh, two inch and a half wrenches, or in my case, I used a three quarter inch drive socket with an inch and a half socket on one side. It's a lock nut. So it, it takes a little bit of uh, effort there to, to get these tightened down. They provide three washers and you need all three. Uh, one on the top side I put, and the other two I put on the bottom side. I thought about putting one in the middle, but I decided I didn't want to have that much give in there. So instead I put a little bit of a grease in there before I put them together to allow it to swing easier. Now, just like the blade, you can rotate this in, I don't know, three different positions in each direction, maybe more than that, right? And then you'd have to take this out, but you could turn it around so that you're pushing the other direction. Here's the magic of these attachments. I've got both of them stacked right here. I put the blade right in the middle of the landscape rake and look at this tiny amount of space. I suspect if we stood them just right, we could get even less space. Um, you know, you could make it more vertical, more horizontal, but, but even now we're 24 inches in width here and 14 inches high, that space would, would work. And then 54 inches long is all it's gonna take for the, for the blade. When I was in my previous house, this would have been exactly what I needed because I just didn't have any storage space. Uh, I'd much rather keep items inside, and I'm sure you would too. They're just gonna last a lot longer. You're gonna avoid rust. You're gonna avoid sun damage. Um, it's just much better. We, we all know it's better to keep attachments inside. This should make that possible. Now, these are a little bit smaller than some of the blades or landscape rakes that you see on the market. They're going to be perfect for a subcompact tractor. As long as you're in the, the, the BX, the uh, CS2520 for Coyote or the GC series for Massey Ferguson, course the John Deere 1 series these are about perfect okay they're, they're going to be the right size you're going to be able to handle them these are the right attachments for that machine but you get any bigger and they're really probably not the right attachment you need to go with a uh, just a more heavy duty type landscape rake or rear blade or box blade or whatever not only can you store these attachments in a small space, they cost less than their full three-point hitch counterparts. You, you can kind of imagine what's going on here. This one just has this two-inch piece of steel. Every other rear blade is gonna have to have, in front of this, is gonna have to have a full three-point hitch attachment. Well, we use the heavy hitch for that. So even when combined with the cost of the heavy hitch uh, bracket itself, uh, these attachments are going to be cheaper, especially if you buy both of them, right? You're going to get a landscape rake and a blade, and you only need one heavy hitch uh, to pull this off. Another advantage is when you're using the blade, you can put some weights on your heavy hitch, right? So uh, it's hard to get down pressure on these blades. A lot of times they're just not heavy enough to do the job that you want done. Uh, with this thing, you can put weights right on the heavy hitch bracket. That's what it's made for and get you a little bit of downforce. We've shown this uh, rear blade on our channel um, several times. We've shown it in the snow. Uh, it's very effective working on snow. We've also shown it uh, uh, grading some rock in our driveway. I believe that was when we were getting ready for the shelter logic shelter that we that we used it for that. The blade's been out then for, I believe, a year, maybe a little bit more. The landscape rake is new. I don't know the pricing at the time of this airing. I don't know the pricing on the landscape rake, but I believe there's some discussion of making this a bundle where you can get the blade and the landscape rake and maybe even a hitch of your choice all in a bundle, right? Now, I recommend the offset hitch as a minimum. There's, there's several, several different hitches available. There's a standard duty hitch, which I don't recommend because it doesn't have as much 
uh, reinforcement around that two inch receiver. So it's, it's not good for pulling these attachments. There's a super duty hitch which adds that reinforcement. That is your bare minimum. Um, it takes only the 42 pound weights. This is the offset hitch which is the beginning of my real recommendation. The offset hitch takes 42s or 70 pound weights and it is the super duty connection in there. And then my favorite is the double bracket where you can put 70 pound weights on the back and then additional 42 pounds on the front. That gives you the most flexibility for the long term. But hopefully we'll have a bundle with the hitch, the blade, and the landscape rake. If you already have certain pieces of that, this is a very cost effective way to get a landscape rake and a blade. And as I said, low storage requirements. I think that is, that is my favorite aspect of, of this pretty ingenious design. The, the, the folks at Heavy Hitch have been uh, pretty impressive with this design. You can get yours at heavyhitch.com. Use coupon code TTWT for a 5% discount. And I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I really want to try to provide some helpful information for you to be able to get attachments that can work in your situation. Uh, not everybody has a huge storage building to put their attachments and um, I think this is a compelling solution for you. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. It goes right into the heavy hitch two inch receiver. What is wrong with you, cat? He's got to where he meows like that all the time. All the time. I'll, I'll distract him with okay. petting. I'll start over. Okay. Ready? Didn't believe me, did it?